Hello ingredients to all. Welcome back to our series of how to use Redmine as a project manager software. Uh, we're on video number six. Now let's go ahead and open our Oprah. Now just to recap on the previous video we learned how to create issues which is the actual service call. Now we're going to start dissecting a little bit better and I'm going to show you how we're going to um, shave some of the tabs off that we don't need and also how you give it more uh, megabytes to upload a picture. Right in. So let me log in. Okay. So now if I go under my project, um, and if I was to go on the main customer, so let's say if you have 10 customers, they're going to be all under here. But we're going to continue with this customer one. If I click on here, you can actually see at a glance everything that's open and also what closed. If you notice, camera, which is the one we closed earlier, it's already there. But I also added all these other ones. So if I was to go under issues, it will show you all the different issues that are actually active right now and who are who are they who are they set up for so you can see service tech 2 service tech 1 and so forth and this is I'm just looking at whatever's open I can also click on any and apply and now it's going to show me everything that that's going on if I go under activity here it's going to show me everything that all the activity that's going on right now you know who entered it and so forth so if you notice here um, it's it's a TNM it's a maglock that's not working it's a new issue he I on this one I I actually uh, put the name of the business which is XYZ Mart and just a bogus address and you know city state and zip code zero and then what uh, just you know just a generic of what people would probably put I mean it's just, these are just examples um, if I go under under my uh, again on here you can see at a glance basically if it's if it has a scratch over it that means it's closed if it's open that means it's obviously it's still active now uh, so you could see kind of which way it goes um, you could then narrow it down this is talking about the weeks of the year and kind of where it's at um, on the next video a couple of videos I'll start setting up how you set up a installation on this but you know for right now we're gonna start shaving some of these things off like up here uh, one thing that I, I I don't tend to keep is news and wiki and repository those are things that really don't fall under a service company and now let's go ahead and jump in how you get rid of that stuff um, that you would actually click on under administration okay so under administration you're going to find it under settings so under settings is where now we're going to start tweaking the look and so forth of it notice this name right here this is actually the title so I'm going to change this over to freelance freelance tech uh, uh, PM for project management why not um, this section here is talking about the actual home page so let me go ahead and save it and show you where that that shows up so remember when we first log in the very first thing that happens and you notice now the name changed freelance tech um, the very first thing that pops up is this and if you notice these are links so if I right click to this and say uh, open a new tab it's actually my my main page that that comes up okay and uh, up here is just the name that I gave it and then just the title and I'll show you how you actually edit this
uh, so under administration and settings on here I told it it's a it's actually a, a header of two and then the, the, the name and then this whole section here is what I wrote down Oops. excuse me it's what I wrote down now on the links what you end up doing is I just I always just end up putting a star on it but then I put a, a colon uh, and whatever the text is going to be so whatever the, 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 the text that I want on there either being a sentence or whatever it has to be within 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 this text then it's going to be a colon and HTTP or the just address so this you can see it's my address it's my address and then on the next line I have my Facebook so I just put the word Facebook and then I linked it to my Facebook uh, page then under my YouTube or I put the text of YouTube channel and that goes to my YouTube channel and that's just basically how that worked um, now let's go back back to what the original thing is of how how big files can be on how you edit or how, how big the file can be uploaded so you can see under tabs or files this is where it's at so if I wanna if I want them to be able to upload 20 megabytes then let me bring up my calculator so here's the calculator and 1024 times 20 is gonna this is what's gonna be 20 megabytes so I'm gonna copy this paste it there and uh, max file size um, I always end up bringing this up uh, because right now the files are, do tend to get bigger and I this is just up to your preference where you tweak it um, so let me just make sure 1024 times uh, 5 yeah so on here they're gonna be able to, to go up to 5 megabytes and then they're gonna be able to upload a file up to excuse me up to 20 megabytes I'm gonna save this okay so now that's saved now let's let's do, double check let's go to the projects and let me go to the customer and let's say um, this camera the one we already closed and if I open it and if I was to upload so let's click on edit you'll notice that if I go here at the bottom there it is max size is 20 megabytes so now I would be able to upload so let me take a screenshot so you can see it work uh, screenshot and then I'm gonna say um, upload file okay so there's the file so if I was to say add and I'm gonna go to my desktop here's my upload file select upload and you can see it's already done now if you want to put a description this would be let's say um, I don't know uh, camera location or let's say new camera let's say the guy new new camera whatever you can submit it and now that that camera is gonna here's the file right here and there it is there's, this is an actual the actual file that I had um, yeah and actually that's that's about it uh, hopefully this makes sense uh, on the next video we'll get deeper into the managing this whole thing again thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one